Hi Keith Wilson here and welcome to yet another video within my ACT 2010 tutorial program. Now firstly I must uh, apologise for my current attire. It's Friday afternoon and we typically dress down on a Friday so hence the way that I'm looking fairly relaxed. Now today's video really is in response to constant nagging that I seem to get blaming the ACT 2010 program and typically there's no reflection to the program at all. It's all to do with data deficiencies. Users blaming the software and yet when you dive deep into the system you appreciate that there's absolutely nothing wrong with the software whatsoever. So by the end of this tutorial I want to show you three very simple yet powerful techniques that will show you how to manipulate your data and tidy up any deficiencies that you may find. Because however disciplined you try and make your system, there will always be some users that unfortunately get sloppy with their input and therefore the results that you get out of the system, either from a reporting perspective or simply by a lookup, will reflect the poor due care and attention that has been taken on data entry, not just for one contact but for a global range of records. I'm also going to show you how to copy the contents of one field to another. And I'm also going to give you scenarios as well. And finally, how to swap the contents of one field to another. Again, not just for one record, but for a group of re records that you pre-select. So I really hope you enjoy this video, but more importantly than that, I hope you actually see great value because after all, all of these tutorials are a total waste of time unless you actually implement what I'm teaching you. So please, once you've watched this tutorial in full, go back to your own system, do the same analysis that I'm going to show you, and let's see how good your own data is. OK, so let's look at the first option, uh, which is the replace command. Now, all three of the commands that we're going to look at are all accessible from the edit menu. So you see there we've got replace field, swap field and copy field. Now I'm going to use the replace field command first and let's put a typical scenario into place. Now let's assume that I've done a lookup on, in fact, let's do it. Let's do a lookup for all prospects in the database. So there's my lookup and you can clearly see ACT has returned 71 contacts. Now just simply because I know my system much much better than that, I'm aware that there's actually over a hundred prospects. So where are the other records? Well in this instance, and again this is obviously clearly for demo purposes, I have over 30 records in the database that actually have nothing whatsoever in the ID status field. However, I know they are all prospects. So let's go back to that and just show you that scenario. So if I now look up the ID status where it contains nothing, I've now got 37 records. If, if I scroll over to the right so that you can see that, the ID status column is blank. So now that I've created my lookup, and that's a very, very important point with these three commands, ACT will modify all of the records in the current lookup. So always make sure that you perform that first, otherwise ACT will make the changes to every single record in the lookup. So what I want to do here is simply replace the ID status for all 37 records to prospect and the way to do that is from the edit menu replace so I'm asked which field I want to replace the contents of so I can simply press the first letter of the field in question or I can simply use the drop down list then I move across to the value field and enter what I want those records to change to. I 
Once I'm happy with my settings, click OK. And like I've just said, ACT warns you that this particular operation is going to modify every single record in the current lookup. So you must always, always make sure that the records you want to change are within the current lookup. I know in this example it is. So if I simply click on yes, you see the ID status field populating with prospect. So if I now do that lookup again, look up ID status where it starts with prospect. You may recall previously I had 71 records and now I should have 108. Okay, so that's the replace command. What about the swap command? What sort of scenario could we use that in? Okay, again, for demo purposes, I have a range of records within my database that don't have any information within the postcode field. So again, you do your lookup first. Now I'm doing everything from the lookup menu because I've obviously got the predefined record set in my system. However, if you don't have defined field information, you could always create your lookup from the list view as we've done here. So if your records don't match a certain criteria, what you could do in this instance is enter the into the tag mode, randomly select the records that you want to change, look up those records, and then perform that same function. So those 10 records that I have there have nothing in common but it may be that I want to change those records to match a certain criteria. Okay, back to the swap command. So I want to look up all contacts within my database who don't have any information within the postcode field. Now what you'll probably notice there, certainly for my UK clients, is that the county field is actually contained in the postcode information. Subsequently, the city field is actually contained in the county information. And also the address three field is contained in the city information. So I'm going to show you the quickest way to move those fields around. First instance, I'm going to swap the contents of the county field with the postcode field. One important note here, you'll notice that several of those records don't have a postcode within the county field. But that doesn't matter in this instance because what it will do is literally swap nothing for nothing. So there's no problem with those records. So this time we're going to use a swap field command. And we want to swap the contents of the county field. Again, I just simply clicked on the letter C, took me to the first record beginning with C, and I want to swap the contents of that with the postcode field. Again, ACT will warn me that it's actually going to modify all records in the current lookup. Yes, I'm sure. So that's now swapped those two fields around. Thank you.